you are welcome to my channel in this tutorial we'll be solving a problem involving calm and the question goes like this it says an offset roller follower 20 millimeter diameter is to be given the motion set out below by the plate cam rotating clockwise construct the profile of the cam lift 38 millimeter with uniform velocity in 120 degree of the cam rotation dwell for 60 degree of cam rotation fall 38 millimeter with simple harmonic motion in 90 degree of cam rotation dwell for the remainder of the revolution the line of action of the follower is offset 32 millimeter to the left of the vertical center line of the cam the minimum distance from the cam center to the ruler center distance is 56 mm. The cam shaft diameter is 24 mm. Now, the first thing you do in order to draw your diagram is to draw your vertical and horizontal objects. What I mean is this. I'll pick a point. Let's say I want it to fall at this point and at this point here right now this is the center here is that taken and the first thing you draw will be the cam shaft diameter which is given as what 24 millimeter so i can easily measure 24 millimeter with my compass or i from here take my um my rule and take the half of the 24 which is 12 because you need radius to get your diameter so i have the radius of what of 12 right from this point to this point here is 12 and i'm going to take my compass place it on that point i'll place it on that point you can see and i'm going to draw my circle which i am going to tick in which i am going to tick in you can see that now the next thing that we're going to draw here will be the offset and we are told it is 32 millimeter to the left of the vertical line. This is the vertical line. So to the left of the vertical line is 32 millimeter. That is the offset. So I'm going to measure 32 millimeter to the left. This is 32. So this is where it's ending at this point here, right? So I'm going to take my compass to that point, right? And I will draw another circle in this manner. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this into 24, right? So, let me just complete this. I'll divide this into 24 with the help of my protractor. Right, you can use a protractor, you can use anything you want to use, right? I divide it into 12. So if I use my protractor, this is what I'll be having. Now you know if you divide this into 12, that means each of them will be, because this is 360. And this is divided by 12, we'll be having 30, 30 degree each. Now if you want it to be 24, you need to use 15, 15 degree each. So if I use my protractor this way and place it on that point here, right so i'll start by saying this is 10 this will be what 15 the next one will be what 30 the next one will be what 45 the next one will be what 60 the next one will be what 75 right the next one will be what 90 right then the next one will be what i can go to 105 this is 105 here right this one will be what 120 this one will be what 135 then we'll be having this one should be what 150 we'll be having this one will be what 150 165 right then this one will be what 180 these are all what we have here that i named here right those points that I placed here. So from that point, 
I'm going to draw my line from each of those points. This point is for this line. This point will be for this. So I'll just tick in this from here. I'll leave the space. I'll come here. I'll tick in this too. All good. I'll come to the next one too. The next point, which is this. I'll draw a line from here. I'll move to this point. You can see that. I'll come to the next one. From this point, next 16 degree. I'll move this to here. And I'll move this to here. The next one. And at 15 degree, I'll move this to here, to this point. I'll go to the next one, taking it the center of my reference point. We're well, using the center of what? The reference point. Right? So here also, we already have this center as reference point. This way. Then here also, Taking the center as reference point. Now this. Here also taking from this point, taking the center as a reference point. So we have in this. I'll come here also taking the center as reference point. I have this. To this point two, taking the center as reference point, all right, this. From here, taking the center as reference point, all right, this. So, I'll close it up this way. This is what we have here. So we have done that into 24. If you start counting from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. You can see that? That's 24. That's the first thing you do. So this is the offset from this point. This is the offset from here to here is the offset. Right from here to here is the what? The radius of the cam. Now we move forward. Now the next thing we are going to do is at this point here, I'm going to draw my zero will start from that point. So I'll draw a line tangential to that point. This way. You can see that? That line representing my initial point, zero. Now we are not told. The next thing you do is to draw the cam, the minimum distance on the cam center. And that's given as what? 56. The minimum distance from the cam center that gives us 56. So I'm going to measure 56 right on my meter rule or better still. I measure 56 on this rule here from here to this point. This is 50, 56 is here, right? Or you use this other side. I measure 56, which is at this point here. So this is 50, 55, 56 here. Then I'll take my compass from that point to this point here where it's 56. Right? And I'm going to draw. So I'll draw that. There's a minimum cam distance. That will have there. Now the next thing we are going to do is the lift, right? So the lift will be from this point. So you see the cam, the question says that the ruler will be at this point. So from this point here, you measure 56. I mean 30, you measure 38 as the lift, right? So you measure 38 as the lift. So this is 38 here. Let me start from zero. So from zero. So zero here and this is 38 at this point here this is 35 this is 38 here right and 
I'm going to take my compass from the center of the cam to that point where it's 38, right? And I'm going to draw another one again. So this is what we have. So I have this. You can see that. So let me take it up a little bit. Now, in doing that, that means this is my zero degree here. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is this. After I've gotten my lift, and we are told that the cam is moving in a clockwise manner this way. Right? Why the follow up is moving in an anti clockwise manner this way? So this is going clockwise. This is going anti clockwise. Right? So I will start. Now the difference between this cam, this offset cam and the other cam is that every of my points will be tangential to each of those points. So this is zero degree, right? So the next one will be tangential to that point. So what I'm going to do, I'll use my bigger rule and show you. I would like to take using my line of 18. If you look at this closely, this line you see that the note 18, I'm going to make it lap with this line here i'll make it lap with this line I'm talking about the next line so leaving a free space there you can see that and i'm going to draw so this will be the next one i see that and that will be the 15 degree you can see that i'll go to the next one also do the same thing i can use that 19 for the next line here this next line allow my line of 19 to correspond with it this way to ensure that it's tangential now do the next one you can see that that will be 30 degree i'll come to the next one do the same thing the line of 19 to be corresponding with this line i'm going to do that which you can see right and I'll draw this. So we having this. You can see that. Then the next one is this. I'll do the same thing. The line of 19 to be corresponding with this line. You can see that. So I'm going to have this. I'll come here also. I'll do the same thing to this next line here. So I'll do that for all the lines. I'll do that for what? For all the lines this way you can see that continuously let me use 18 now so this is 18 right i'm having this okay the next one will be this i'll do that for everything so i'll come here So, this is what we have here. So this will be 1530. This is 30. Any space I leave will be what? 60. I leave a space. This will be what? 90. I leave a space. 120. Leave another space. One, um, 150. Leave another space. 180. Leave another one. 210. Leave another one. 240. Another one. 270, 300, 330, and what? 360. So it means they can just go in that way. In between 60, we have this is just 45. This will be 75. This will be 105. This will be 135. This will be 165. This will be 200, and what? This will be uh, 195. All right, this will be 210, this will be 225, this will be um, 255, 
Guys, we'll go to 270, 285. Guys, we'll go to the next one, 315, 330, 345, and 360. So you can do it that way if you want to. Any of the choice is yours, right? Now, we've successfully done that. The next thing we're going to do is to draw the profile diagram. So with the help of this, I'll come to this point here. A zero point on the minimum, the least minimum cam radius. I'll draw an horizontal line from that point. Now, if you look at the center correctly, right? We are told that the ruler, the, the follower is a ruler follower, right? That is one thing you need to know. Now, if you look at it now, where will be the follower? From this um, statement here, it says that the minimum distance from the cam center to the ruler center is 56. So that means from here to here, we know this the height from here to here is 56. So this will be our ruler center. I'll give the ruler center to be what? To be 20. So I'm going to measure half of it, which is what? Which is 10, this way. I measure half of it which is 10 from 0 to 10 you can see that and i'll place it at this point here that will be our where our ruler will be placed is that again that will be where our ruler will be placed so we'll move forward now i'm going to place my set square on this point here and i'll draw a vertical line like this You can see that that point it is will be my zero degree and i'm going to divide it into 24. so it depends on how i want to divide into 24. i can decide to do it this way from here i can say okay into 12 each that again so that means still my 30 this will be one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right? So what I'm actually doing here is representing thirty degree to what? To one centimeter. Automatically seeing that um five millimeter is equal to what fifteen degree. So that's why I just did here. So this would be um we have thirty we have 60, um, we have 90, 120, 150, 180, 210, 240, 270, 300, 330, and we have 360. Is that the key? I will know the lift is 38 that means from here to here 38 so automatically i'll measure 38 or i'll just draw my line this way so it's the same height from this point here three down here all together so i'll close it up this way I'm going to close it up this way first of all now let's move so the first thing here it says it lifts 38 millimeter with uniform velocity in 120 degree so from 0 to here is 120 right so i'm going to draw a line vertical at that point you can see that then now in uniform velocity you connect with what with a straight line from the point to this what we have for uniform what uniform velocity right now the next thing we have here it says it dwells for 60 degree so this is zero this is zero 30 and this is what 60 that means it dwells from 120 to 180 degree so in between is 60 so i'm going to take in that aspect from here to here 
So we have that is the dwell. Now the next thing is um it's four that's eight millimeter with simple harmonic motion. Now when you do simple harmonic motion, you need to draw your what? Your semicircle. So what I will do is half of um, 38 is 19, right? So I'm going to measure 19 on my meter rule. Let me use my I measure 19 on my meter rule from here to here. This is 19, right? So I'll try and get the center of that line. I'll place it here. I'll try to get the center. So I'll be having this. So this is the center here. So I'll draw this semicircle. Now, the next thing I will do, depending on how many I want to divide it into. Right? So we'll see. So it falls for 90 degree with uniform acceleration. Okay, so this is 0, this is 30, this is 60, this is 90. That means it falls at that point. So it's stopping here. Right? It's stopping at this point. So what we'll do is, we know very well that uh, we are using 15 degree each, right? So that means we say 0 0.5 is what we have there. So in between each of those, so if I say here should be 0 0.5, that will be 15, 0, 15, right? This is 0, 15, 30, it should be 45, it should be um, 60, it should be 75 and 80 so this is 0 0.23456 so i'm going to divide this into six so let's divide into six and see so you see what will happen to all this point i can easily take it out but well, let me divide it into six so the measurement i used for here i'm going to strike up i'll strike down i'll place it here i'm going to strike this part also use the same just place it here i'll strike this part right and i'm drawing my line to pass through to go towards the center this to this point and then um, this to this point and then um, this to this point and then um, this to this point so this will help so that will see. So I will now reject all those points. So we'll go and touch this line first. Second. We'll have this. Center. We'll have this. This. And this also. So we'll move. So the first one will be from here. I'll be next 15. I'll draw my line. The second one will be from here. The third one will be from here. The fourth one will be from here. The fifth one will be from here. Then the sixth one will just be here. So I'm going to join all these points together. So where they meet is coming down. Since we are told it falls with what? Simple harmonic motion. So what I will do is I'm going to connect this point downward with the help of my French curve. So I'll connect this. Let's see. Let me see this point to this point. You can see that? Right in here. And the next one to this point. We have this here. You can see that? So we combine this point. And make it more visible. Right. Now what we have there. So we say that from here to here we call it the lift 
and it is with what uniform velocity that is a straight line then this point here is what the dwell right then here is a four it falls with simple harmonic motion then from this point here it says the question says is that dwell and the remainder is dwell so that means it's another what another dwell again so we have what we have here right so we will now start showing this motion the movement the displacement of the cam of the follower will show how it moves here so what we'll do is i can easily take each of this point this is 30 i'll just raise it up just to guide me this is 60 this is 90 right and this is what we have here so what i'm going to simply do here is this i'll obviously be taking 15 and so on and so forth i can say okay from this point this will be 15 but to make the work look choked so what i'll do is i'll just be taking just 0 to 30 to 60 but when i get here i'll start taking the remaining this is what i mean here um zero this point zero right the next one is what is 30 i'll place it at 30 i'll go to 30 here place it on the minimum cam radius and i'll strike my arc here the next one is what 60 i'll go to 60 i'll do the same thing at my point of 60 i'll mark say the 90 i'll go to 90 I'll place at that point here. I will also mark going to 105. That is um, 120. I'll go to 120. Place it here. I'll come here also. I'll mark. It is rest. So from 120 to 180 is the same thing. So that is 120, 135, 150. 160 to what to 180 they're all the same right then the next one will be um 185 because of i want to get the measurement of this so 185 because the next one is 15 i'll place it here i'll come to 195 yes 195 here i'm going to mark i'll go to the next one which is 210 to 10 I'm going to mark from this point that is the minimum can radius then the next one is what 220 I'll be 225 place it here I'm going to mark the next one will be um 270 240 I'm going to mark at this point the next one will be two fifty five. Yes, I'll place it here. I'm going to mark then two seventy start to four. This is where two seventy is on this point, and this two seventy here, the line of two seventy. So the rest is dual. So it's continue dwelling at each of those points. Right? That means at rest at each of those points. So what I'm going to do is we're told that it is a ruler follower. So I'll just come to my ruler follower here, which is diameter of 20 layers of what of 10. I'll place it at each of those points and I'll start drawing my circle, faint line. I'll start drawing my circle, faint line. After drawing my circle, faint line. So it will not go out. After drawing the circle, faint line. Go to 90, then it's 120. So they are all. They are all on that same point. So after 120, we have 150. We have. 180 
then the next one is this point at every of those points I marked I will use them as my center at every of those points I marked will be at my center so I'll turn it through turn it through and do that for every point turn it through Point Saint Line to the point that I marked. So, this part I get here. So, the one that we're taking will be this. You see, you can decide to be marking in between. You know, this is zero. You can say, okay, this is one one and uh, zero centimeter, zero point five centimeter. 1 centimeter, 1.5 centimeter to center. You can decide to do that, but I don't want the diagram to look choked, look crowded. This is why I'm just taking the most important part of it. I try to make use of every one of them, right? For instance, now in between 60 and 90 is 75, and 75 is half of this, which is what for me here is 1 centimeter, right? Half of 1 centimeter is what 0 0.5 centimeter. I can decide to use it. Place my compass at that point this way and come to what to 75. Where is 75? This 75, I mark it here and I mark. Then at that point, I take my radius of 20 off of my roller, I wrap it up in that point. If I want to do that, are you with me now? The choice is just whatever you choose to do. I can also come to 105, which is in between 90 and what? In between 90 and 125. We have my 105. Half of it is what? 0.5. I come to that point, I mark. So, depending on here, you can try to put your circle in every point, right? You still get the same result. I'll take my French curve. I will join all these points tangential to each other. All this circle, draw my curve tangential to the surface of this ruler. So, if I place it here, let's see how it goes. From this point, I'm joining these three together. You can see that. So, I'm having it this way. You can see. I'll come here also. I'll join this three together too. Depend on how you want to go. So you ensure that you are meeting up. So I'll join this. I see that. Come here also. You'll be gauging them. Here too. I know what you want. And here too. So depending on how you want to connect them. Better. Then here also.
Then this. So this is what you are going to be having. So this is the displacement of the diagram here, right? This is how the follower movement is. Do that again, and you know, of course, you need to put in your data. So I'll put that here. This is what you'll be having. Now, this is what you're going to put. We'll call it the data in the question. This is also very important. So this is our calm displacement diagram. This is our what? Profile diagram. And this is our data given. Right? So please, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment if you have any questions to ask. Share the video also. Thanks for watching.